Hello, this is a weather briefing for Sunday and Monday, September 28th and 29th of 2014 for strong to severe thunderstorm potential. I'm Gregory Lundin, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service at El Paso and Santa Teresa, and the date today's date is September 26th, 2014. We have possible impacts from this upcoming weather event. Severe weather is the main threat, particularly in the afternoon and early evening hours, both Sunday and Monday, with large hail and very strong winds possible. Locally heavy rainfall will be possible across southern New Mexico and west Texas, moving from west to east. Localized rainfall amounts may reach between a half an inch to two inches. Flash flooding due to heavy rain and current saturated soil conditions is also a concern late afternoon and evening. Emergency managers are strongly urged to monitor the latest statements and forecasts. Starting out with the weather picture here for Saturday evening, we have a low pressure system in southern Nevada that will be feeding, helping pull moisture up over the state of Arizona as well as dry air coming in from the west. The moisture will be fed from tropical system Rachel that will help enhance the moisture amounts in the plume. Um, it's the meeting of the moist air and the dry air that creates the thunderstorm potential. 24 hours later on Sunday evening the system will start to enter into youth southern Utah while Tropical Storm Ranger Rachel continues to pump moisture into the area from the southwest and the dry air will continue to come in from the west. It should be over southwest New Mexico by Sunday evening with thunderstorm potential increasing at that time. At 48 hours later, the models now have the moisture plume over much of New Mexico, including much of southern New Mexico. The low itself will be entering into the central, Mo central Rocky region and the thunderstorm potential will be greatest in the afternoon as the dry air meets up with the moist air right over southern New Mexico. Uncertainties with this forecast is will all the ingredients come together to create thunderstorms that could produce severe weather. The storm system is slightly delayed with significant weather expected both Sunday and Monday. Will there be enough moisture for widespread thunderstorm activity or just plain isolated thunderstorms? And how much rain will we get? At this time, there are no warnings or watches posted. If the system develops further, we will start posting those later this weekend. Possible Sunday and Monday afternoon and evening events can include severe thunderstorm warning, flash flood warnings, flood advisories, and summary of expected impacts include hail and strong winds, cancellation of outdoor events, flooding in low-lying areas. Emergency managers are strongly urged to monitor the latest statements and forecasts for this upcoming event. If you need further information or want to monitor the latest information, you can check out the Web National Weather Service Santa Teresa website at www.weather.gov at El Paso. We also have facebook.com at NWS El Paso, Twitter at NWS El Paso and YouTube where a recording of this briefing will be placed at NWS El Paso.